Hey guys, welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new. The question of the day for today is, are you doing anything cool for Halloween? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, I'm gonna start the video. Subscribe for a cookie. Come on, what are you waiting for? Subscribe right now. Guys, it's Friday, can you believe it? This week went by so quick. Hopefully school goes by quick too, cause I cannot wait for the party. Let me quickly get changed, take a shower and all that other stuff. I'll be right back guys. Okay, I'm in my uniform now, let me eat my lunch. Wait, what? No, sorry, my breakfast, and then go to school. Not gonna lie, peanut butter and jelly is so good. Yummy! Time to go to school, but let me say bye to mom first. Let's just put the dirty dishes in the sink and go to mom. Hey mom, just before I go, I wanted to say bye. Oh sure, bye honey, have fun at school. Wait a sec, you don't work on Fridays. Why aren't you in your PJs? You usually sleep in on Fridays. Why are you wearing your work outfit? Honey, it's Thursday today, not Friday. That's tomorrow. What? It's not Friday? No. No wonder you seem so happy. Well, I'm not happy anymore. You know how excited I was for that party. Whoa, who said I'm letting you go? What? You're not letting me go? Well, I can, but I need to see your report card first. I know that the teachers are giving the report cards out today. I got an email. So, before I come back from work, I better see that report card on the kitchen table. Do you understand? Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. And if I pass, I get to go, right? Yes. Okay, fine. Bye, Mom. Bye, honey. Okay, I definitely didn't pass anything. I really want to go to that party. I'm going to miss out. All my friends are going. I'll just pray that I pass. Miracles do exist, you know. Hey, Laura, what's up? I am freaking out. I know I'm going to fail. My parents were like, I need to see your report card, otherwise you can't go. Oh my gosh, my mom said the exact same. She said that she better see my report card on the table before she gets home from work, otherwise I'm not going at all, even if I passed. She really wants to see my report card. I guess me and you won't be going then. Hey, we should totally ask Alex and Max if they're going. Hmm, okay, I'll ask Alex and you ask Max. Okay. How's it going, Max? Uh, pretty good. I'm just trying to keep myself composed. Why? What's the matter? Let's just say I totally failed. Are you kidding me? You also failed? Uh, yeah. What do you mean by also? Well, guess what? Me and Laura have also failed. We just know that we failed. We don't even need to open our report cards. We need to get to that party, you know? I know. My mom doesn't want me going unless she sees my report card. Same story with our parents. Uh, Alex? Yeah? Uh, you going to that Halloween party thingy? I wish, but I failed. We can't just lose hope, maybe we did pass. So you mean you think you failed too? Not only me. Mackenzie also thinks she failed. So I guess all of us, but maybe Max is going to the party. Well, she's gone to ask Max right now if he failed or passed. Come on, let's go to them. So, Max, what do you think? Yeah, I definitely failed that. Oh good, me too. And me. Me too. We should be positive, what if one of us passed? Or maybe all of us passed? We haven't even got in our report cards yet, let's not be negative. Sure, but I didn't even answer any of the questions in the paper, so... Oh. Well, you definitely failed, but us three still have a chance. You guys, you guys will go without me? What? No way, we will never leave you behind. Yeah, totally. We would never leave you behind. Uh, we totally would. What? What did you say? Huh? What? Oh, nothing. Let's go to class and find out, shall we? I'm pretty nervous, but yeah, you're right. Let's go. Hello, class. So, before I start this lesson, I did want to say that there is a party tomorrow. As you all know, I know you guys are so excited. But we have decided to only host a party for people that pass their tests. So that means if you have a good report card, you have to show it to us and then we'll let you inside the party. If you failed your tests and you got a bad report card, then don't even try to come. What? That is so unfair. So we can't even convince our mom and dads if we failed? Nope, this party is only for people that passed. Well kids, next time just pass all of your tests and get a good report card. When are we finding out what we got? Oh right, I was gonna hand those out. Here they are. Uh, let me just give them out to everybody. I'm so nervous. Please, 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 please. I want to pass. I want to pass so bad. Me too. I really, really want to go. 
Here you go, Laura. This is your report card. Thank you, sir. Come on, open it. I'm waiting for you to open yours first so that I feel better about mine. Jeez, fine, okay. Oh, Mackenzie, here's yours. Thank you. So, let me open mine. Three, two, one. Let's take a look. <gasps> what? What? What is it? Hey, what did you get? F, 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 and F. F on all of my subjects. Girl, why are you so surprised for? I thought you actually passed. Of course I'm going to be shocked. I got all Fs. You're not that clever anyway. Let's be real. You should be shocked that you actually pass, not fail. Rude. How about you open yours? Let's see about that. Okay, let me open mine. I bet I did so much more better. Oh. So guys, um, we are so not going to that party. So what did you get? Yeah, I want to know. Uh, I, I got all Fs. Could you speak up? Yeah, we can't hear you. Fine, I got all Fs. Wow, you failed? That's embarrassing. That was way too loud, you know. Ugh, who cares? I wasn't ever good at school anyway. A piece of paper is not going to define who I am. Let me see what I got. Hmm, okay, all Fs, cool. And now it's my turn. Let me take a look at my paper. I got a few Ds and a few Cs. Hey guys, look, I got an A. I got an A in history. That's so not fair. Yeah, it's totally fair. Excuse me, sir, could you check out my report card? Of course. What do I look at? Could you just tell me if I passed or not, and if I could go to the party with this? Hmm, a few Ds, a few Cs, and one A. Yeah, I think we'll let you in. Getting a C is basically a pass, and an A is really good. Here you go, well done. Are you going to go without us? Yeah, that's so not cool. Uh, no, fine, I won't. I can't leave you guys behind. You better not. A few hours later. Guys, I'm freaking out. My mom is nearly home from work. It's after school. And I have to give in this report card on the kitchen table. Hey, uh, I don't mind swapping report cards. I didn't do so bad. You can show your mom if you want. But then you'll get in trouble. Why would you do that? Because I don't want you getting in trouble. Ah, oh, that is so cute. Yeah. Does Max have a crush? Huh? No, no way. Crushes are gross, okay? I'm just trying to help out my girlfriend. Uh, wait, no, I mean friend. You totally love her. Well, um, you like me, Max? This is your chance, say yes. Yeah, I, I do. Uh, okay, can I just get your report card then? Sure, here you go. So, do you like me back? Could I maybe tell you later, when I'm ready? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay, we're going home. We'll see you girls later. Yeah, we're gonna go home then. It's too bad we can't go to that party. Yeah, too bad. Bye. Bye, see you tomorrow. What were you thinking? You should have said yes. I got nervous, okay? Dude, do you even think she likes me? Yeah, definitely. I don't think so. She said that she has to think about it. Trust me, I know she likes you. It doesn't even matter anyway, we're not going to the Halloween party. Everything would have been so much more planned out. I could ask her to dance and we could maybe drink some punch. It would be the most perfect day. Hey, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know. Just go with the flow, man. If you say so. Okay, I've got the report card. Let me just put it on the kitchen table and mom will see it. Max is so sweet for doing that. He would get in trouble for me. Okay, I'm gonna go watch some TV and wait for mom to come back. She'll be so impressed. Mackenzie, I'm home. That report card better be on the table. Oh wow, looks like it actually is on the table. Let's see what she got. Are you kidding me right now? Mackenzie, get your butt downstairs right now. Hey mom, are you impressed? Impressed with what? With my report card. Yeah, I got a few C's and a little bit of D's, but I got an A. And apparently that's good enough to go to the party. Do you think your mother is blind? Uh, excuse me? This is not your name. It says Max. Who is Max? Where, where did you get the name Max from, Mom? Look, over here it says that the report card belongs to someone called Max. Now, are you a boy, Mackenzie? No. Maybe the teacher just spelled my name wrong. How does somebody get Max out of Mackenzie? Well, there's an M and an A in my name. Where's the X then, Mackenzie? Uh, that's the part where they spelled it wrong. Do you think your mother 
is stupid. No, give me that right now. I don't even want to look at your face right now. You are such a liar. Go upstairs to your room, bring me your phone, your laptop and everything and give it to me. So you're punishing me? Of course I am. Where is your real report card? I want it right now. Well, um, uh, I, I can't say. So it looks like you want to be grounded for the entire year? Fine, I'll tell you. Max, this guy I like, he's so cute. Basically, he said that we could swap report cards. I did super bad, I got all Fs. So this boy swapped his perfectly fine report card for your trashy report card? Do you think I'm a fool? No, mom, I swear that's the truth. I don't want to hear any more of this nonsense. Get me your phones, your laptops, whatever you've got upstairs. I'm turning off the internet as well, so don't even try watching TV. Max, what's going on? That's not your report card. It is mine, Mom. Well, let me see it again then. No. Give it to me, or otherwise you're being grounded. Do you understand? Okay, here you go. Please, please don't be mad. Yeah, this isn't yours, Max. Where is yours? Is somebody picking on you at school, and they made you swap report cards? What? No, Mom, it's not like that. Okay, so what's going on here? Tell me. Let me just take a seat. There's this girl I really like, and she failed her test. I felt so bad, so I swapped my report card with her. Are you kidding me? Look, that is so cute, but I'm still angry at you. Tomorrow, you're gonna ask that girl to give your report card back, because I want to see your real grades, okay? Yes, mom. Will I be able to go to the party still? No. For lying to me like this, absolutely not. Go do your homework. Yes, mom. That's the cutest thing I have ever seen. OMG, I am dying. That's so adorable. So, honey, how was your day? Guess what Max did. Uh, did he pee himself again? No, he stopped doing that, thankfully. What I wanted to say is, you know how they were supposed to get their report cards today? Oh, yes, of course. What did he get? Take a look at this paper. Here you go. Uh, this isn't even his. But seriously, this girl got all Fs? Exactly. Max has a crush on this girl, and they swap report cards so that she doesn't get in trouble. Max apparently got an A, a few Cs, and one or two Ds. He really did that? That's so sweet of him. Don't tell me you punished him. Well, I was a little bit mad at him. He wanted to go to the Halloween thing tomorrow, and I said, nope, you can't go. Oh, honey, just let him go. He's a kid. Remember when we were young? Fine, I guess. I'll tell him tomorrow morning that he can go. Good. Okay, let's finish our dinner. I wish I could go to the party. She'll be going without me, I guess. Mackenzie's mom probably already let her. Hey guys, I've got some good news. Sure, what is it? My mom said that I need my report card back and I can go to the party. Oh, you want it back? Yeah, please. Well, I also need my report card back. Yeah, sure, here you go. Thank you. So, you're going without us then? Well, maybe, I don't know. Okay, have fun. Do you see how sad she is? Yeah, she's broken. Wait, I have a crazy idea. What? How about we sneak out and we use your report card when the teacher asks for it? That won't work, dude, because my name is on the report card. See? Oh. How about we edit it with Photoshop? I'm so good at that. Really? You are? Of course. I just need to borrow your report card and I'll make one for each of us. The only problem is we have to sneak out. I can sneak out. My parents never notice. Well, quickly, go get Mackenzie and tell her the good news. Okay. Mackenzie. Yeah. Don't be so sad. We found a way for you to come with us. What? What's going on? Alex knows how to make fake report cards. The only thing you need to do is sneak out of your house. Can you do that? Yeah, I actually can. My mom sleeps like a baby. She won't even notice that I'm gone. Looks like we're going to the party then. We need to figure out what we want to wear. I was thinking that we should go for like a fall type of vibe. Because it is fall after all. I totally get what you mean. Try texting me and we can figure it out. I can't really text because my mom took away my phone and she shut down the Wi-Fi. Oh, well, how about us three come and collect you? All you have to do is sneak out at 8pm and we'll be waiting by the alleyway. Okay, that sounds good. I'll see you later at 8 o'clock, sharp. Got it. Okay, I'm already sorry I have to whisper because my mom is sleeping. I do not want to wake her up. <laughs> Guys, am I late? No, you're just on time. Here you go, here's your report card. Thank you. 
Let me take a look at how realistic this looks. Wow, you actually did a good job, Alex. Yeah, I know. You're a lifesaver, Alex. We don't want to be late. Let's go. Sure, let me just walk with you, Max. Sure, okay. They are so in love with each other. I know, right? Let me just take a look at your report card before I let you in. Sure. Okay. So this is you, Alex, right? You got A's and B's. Come on in. Okay. Thank you so much. Here you go. Yep, you can go in. Let me just look at both of yours at once. So we've got Max and we've got Mackenzie. Well done, Mackenzie and Max. You did quite good. Here you go. And yeah. Thanks a lot. Such good kids. I feel terrible. I was so mean to her. Maybe I should go say sorry to her. I feel so bad. She's missing out on that party. Let me just go to her room. Mackenzie? Honey? Mackenzie! Where are you? Mackenzie! <gasps> what happened? Did she run away? Does she hate me? What's going on? I'm getting the cops right away. <laughs> the cops Hey. <hate> <laughs> Um, ma'am, I have no idea what you're saying. My kid is missing and I was just such a mean, poopy face to her. <laughs> My kid is missing. I'm like the worst mom ever. My kid is missing. She probably ran away. She hates me. You're saying your kid is missing and she might have run away? This is really serious. I'm calling all of the cops around the area to help find her. Okay, whatever. Bye. Just find her, please. Attention all officers, please look for this little girl. She's missing. She's in the area somewhere. Her name is Mackenzie. She's blonde haired. She's five foot one. Please look for her. Hey, my walkie talkie is ringing. There's a missing girl? Yeah, it seems like it. Well, let's look for her. I might have to go home early though because my son, he's at this party for Halloween at school. What did you say again? My son, he's supposed to be at some Halloween party. I have to go pick him up soon. Is he in middle school by any chance? Yeah. Well, that's it. She might be at this party. She might go to the same school as him. You know, the girl that's missing. Wait, you're so clever. That's right. Well, at least I think you're right. Let's go to that school. What's it called again? Eastbrook Middle School. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Oh, officers. How may I help you? We have to shut this party down real quick. And we need to talk to all of the students. Oh, of course. Let me just turn off the music. Hey, what's going on? Where did the music go? This is so uncool. Excuse me, we're looking for a Mackenzie. What? A Mackenzie? Yep, do you know her? Maybe. Has anybody seen a Mackenzie here? Yeah, she's right in front of you. Mackenzie's ruining the party, oh my god. Hey, where's Mackenzie then? That blonde girl with the little, like, flower on her head. Mackenzie, your mom was so worried. She was crying so much. And you snuck out to go to a party? Look, I'm so sorry, okay? Please don't tell my mom. Let's just make up a fake story. Just say you rescued me or something. We cannot lie to your mom. I'm sorry. You're coming to the station with me. Sorry, guys, for crashing the party. You can continue. Come along, Mackenzie. This party sucks now. Are they going to take her to jail? I don't know. Let's go home. I'm going home. This party sucks. Yeah. Seems like everyone's going home. We should go too. So we are coming towards the end of the story, guys. Mackenzie gets in a lot of trouble. Her mom is shouting and screaming at her in front of all of these officers. And of course, Mackenzie gets grounded for like a year. Also, the party was a complete fail. Everybody left. So I guess the teacher just danced by himself. So yeah, guys, that's the end of the story. I hope you guys liked it. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and answer the question of the day, which was, are you guys doing anything fun for Halloween? Comment down below. And yes, I know it's September, but come on, it's Halloween. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye! Yeah, bye-bye, and don't forget to subscribe.